Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and here we are at the patio in a slightly different location. So Jerry and I thought it would be fun today to kind of give you the big overall plan that we have for the backyard patio. If you remember, we have been working on this space for a long time. We're getting there, um, but it's a little bit busier around here. So we have to work on it in our spare time. But it's not just the patio area that we're going to be redoing. We have this whole backyard area that is going to get transformed. So we thought it would be fun to really walk you through the whole area so that you can kind of get the big picture of the idea of what we are doing. Because as, as you remember, this patio behind me, um, for years we had an above ground pool. It had the, uh, like a built-in deck around it. So it kind of felt like it was an in-ground pool. Our kids used it like wore it out. They are now fish because of that pool. It was fantastic. But as with all of pools and especially above ground pools, you know, just the wear and tear on it. And we were finally going to have to really kind of look at replacing it. The deck was kind of had some issues. So we said, you know what? The kids are getting older. We need some more like an outdoor living space. So that's why we've transformed this area into the backyard patio and we're already loving it. Even though it's still under construction, like Jerry and I were sitting out there um, late yesterday afternoon, early evening, having our coffee and it was great. So the patio is only one part, but you know that we are going to landscape the heck out of this place. So we're going to walk you through. So maybe Jerry, let's just back up and let's, let's just kind of get the whole big picture. So obviously the patio is behind us. Um, right here, this is the side of our garage. Um, and then of course, and I'm just, y'all, this is, you know how it is at Gardening with Creekside. We just show you the good, the bad, the ugly and everything. So just keep in mind, this is like a construction zone and forgive us of any hot mess that's going on. But you can see right here, of course, we have, this is our driveway goes into the garage. So the big picture is that we will have a stone path coming off of this area, right? So it will be a, I don't know, three to four foot wide stone path. We're thinking at first we thought we would do like pavers. Well, <laughs> that's going to take forever. So we're like, mm, yep, scratch that. So we're thinking more like big flagstones with like small decorative gravel in there. So we're going to come around this way and that path will sweep around this forest pansy redbud and then we'll connect kind of where the saw is and then to the patio. But of course we have grass right here. This grass has never thrived here. It's just, it's just an interesting space. So what we're going to do is on both sides of the paths will be landscape beds. So of course here we have this forest pansy red bud that has just finished blooming and is now flushing out with its leaves. Because of this tree and because the sun comes up here, and sets over there. This truly is a shade bed. So we're going to extend this bed all the way to the edge of the path. I have got, um, we've got our electrical here. Um, all the kind of the utilities are on this wall and I want to hide that because of course this is now going to become kind of a high traffic zone. So I've got some Florida sunshines we're going to put back there that give us some evergreen, some height, kind of break up that wall a little bit. And then of course, lots more, um, shade perennials underneath the canopy of the tree. And that's what is actually going on with all of these black tubs right here. Um, in the fall, my mama was helping me and dug up a bunch of this stuff because we knew that we were going to be extending this bed and we needed to kind of rearrange this bed. So of course we'll have shade stuff, this bed under here, but the further we come out, the more sun we get. So then I can incorporate some sun loving perennials in here. Now, the showpiece here is about, I wanna kinda of line it up with the trunk of the tree and this was our chicken coop. So about right here, but I need to come out far enough to give me some room because we have um, an arch that I got from the Kinsman Garden Company. You know how much I love this place. Kinsman Garden Company is a metal arch that's gonna go here where the path comes through. Obviously you go through the arch and on each side, I have climbing roses from David Alston. This is the Generous Gardener climbing rose, which is a nice pale pink. So they will be climbing up 
over the arch so you have to come through the arch with the roses in order to get to the patio so that's the idea on this side on this side well <laughs> we've been kind of hiding this space from y'all a little bit because it's just well bless it okay so we had chickens for years so this was the chicken coop this was the chicken run we had a german shepherd this was her pen on this side um, she's been gone for about two years now so we're kind of using this again as a little holding zone for plants that are going to go into this area we have some gravel right here of course in front of the coop we use this as a backup turnaround we'll have some sort of path right here but this will be landscaped and the main idea because honestly jerry can't stand at some point probably to turn it into like a gardening shed e either we'll have to modify it some because it is under <laughs> it is not really stable right now so it needs a little work take out the um <coughs> excuse me the pollen is falling today um take out the wire use that some like a little covered potting shed this will be transformed at some point but coming down through here we're going to keep this bed it will be modified some yes the weeds are growing prolifically we all deal with weeds but right here we're going to have a hedge of the tea olive trees so the tea olives will get nice and big it will break this up so this is not such a massive focal point when you're sitting on the patio and of course those great smelling blooms so we'll have a hedge of tea olives going down through here to a point to be determined then in front of it i have the moonlight encore azaleas i believe it is um, but it's a beautiful pure white bloom they get nice and big in that four to five foot range so we're going to tear this down to have lots of blooms lots of year-round color interest that kind of thing and then all throughout this back point we're going to have different beds i imagine it like different rooms of a garden um, we had the okami cherry tree she was already this was her first year in here she was beautiful this spring um, so she is going to be going well but just to create different gardens and just uh, this is where we have fun you know we kind of have a big vision nothing specific but just that big vision idea so back to imagine we have the path that's coming around here obviously we're still in construction here this bad boy right here is the unique stone it's the asian water bowl that i was telling you about that we are going to turn into a fountain it is a wonderful beast of a container it is not intended to be a fountain but we are going to turn it into a fountain um, it is 36 inches wide at the top i want to say 24 inches tall um, and the plan was is that we were going to put it in the bed um, kind of where the where the deck is it will fit but we thought you know that may not be long term the best as far as maintenance and getting to it that kind of thing so we were kind of having a little bit of a design issue anyway with how we were going to design this with the walk coming in here um, obviously the pathway is not going to be this long or this wide rather um, is going to come in here so we have just decided to put the fountain here in this general area so that way you can see it when you're on the patio you can see it from the porch you can see it from the house you can see it when you're coming around you can hear it this way it will be a lot more um, easy to maintain installing it will be a lot easier because we have a lot more room to move and groove as opposed to being in that little confined spot in that flower bed so i think this is going to be a really fun um, location for it we're going to of course show you that whole um, installation process because we basically have found the components we just have to get everything ordered but this basically it's not going to be a fountain where it's a a big huge fountain it's going to be more of that nice trickly so you have the gentle trickling water sound um, so it won't splash out everywhere and then of course we'll have the decorative rock underneath it for the catch basin and so forth that decorative rock will continue a little bit around to kind of tie in this whole area and then of course i'm going to use the incredible hydrangeas all around the back side 
of the seating wall and then this where all of these um, pavers are and all this construction stuff is we'll have those incredible balls around here and then we'll have a bed to come down and tie in to the yard so right now that is kind of the general idea of our goal and where we're moving towards with this space um, there's lots of things that there's just so many different projects back here so many different videos that we're going to be able to show you and bring to you we're going to show you how we landscape everything um, because just like this bed right here i mean it's just it's such a great transition bed because we do have shade then we have the full sun um, lots of fun things to put in here um, just super excited this is for me is the fun part like i'm ready to get the construction done we're getting there there's just jerry has been moving blessing whenever he has some free time he's over here doing it and working on it um, it is coming we'll get there we know that but we're ready to really like get our hands into the landscape and just make it pretty and of course we'll have I'll plant the urns and the whole boxes over there so tons and tons of things and the flower beds you name it we're going to be working on it um, so anyway I hope this has been a little interesting to kind of see this will definitely be the before and the after as we go through this whole project and getting the landscaping done all the different components this is definitely going to be years year two years before i don't think you ever get it finished do you i mean you're constantly always tweaking and and changing but this is definitely in the raw stages some big things are going to be happening in the coming weeks and months and um so anyway we just thought it would be fun to kind of show you from the raw stage hopefully to the finished stage here relatively pretty soon. As always, thanks so much for gardening your quick side. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye friends.